Hello, and welcome to Pablo's Kittens. phase of the man cave we got some more done quite a bit done uh, we are almost done with the walls in here okay I've got one two uh, two full four foot panels to do and then slightly larger than half two half panels to do okay um, of course now with the economy the way it is lumber has gotten outrageous right uh, it's almost double so this piece of wood here a standard 4x8 sheet of plywood uh, in October cost me 16 bucks a sheet now it's up to 16 bucks a sheet so it's a little more it's uh, almost double okay so it got a little more expensive finish this out than I would hope for it to. Uh, air conditioners in here. I think once we get this thing in fully plywooded and insulated, uh, it'll be very nice. Um, got the four TVs up so we can do, uh, I can do uh, four screens at once playing the same, same uh, show. Uh, Brianna and I came out here last night and watched a movie in here uh, got the surround sound so that's cool uh, all the lights out all dark and uh, subwoofers going uh, makes for a good movie experience uh, makes it even more creepy um, then of course you can video game four people can video game at once me and Corby uh, video gaming yesterday just two of us but we can have up to four people playing at once okay so that was kind of that uh, Corbin has some friends over and they want to come out here and all get their gaming on they can okay uh, we've got the the back wall here with the beer bottles I need to do some more shelves in here uh, I ran out of room so we'll do that uh, probably put a couch on this wall eventually. I'd like to get a couch. Uh, my mom painting, painted this really cool Black Panther painting for me uh, a few years ago. That'll go in here. Okay. 
let's get to the uh, the name of the man cave okay so we named the man cave Pablo's kittens why would I do that because a it sounds pretty cool and kind of original okay so I had to run separate internet out here separate Wi-Fi out here okay from the house the Wi-Fi from the house would not reach in here okay because it's a big metal can uh, originally when I came in here cell phone service doesn't get out Wi-Fi doesn't get in etc etc so I come in here with my phone it's psh, gone okay now then, the Wi-Fi for the house is called surveillance van 3 okay that's kind of creepy so I had to come up with a new name for the Wi-Fi in here I got a separate uh, router or whatever you want to call it so I thought what would go with surveillance van 3 that already sounds shady enough when the neighbors turn their Wi-Fi on or a guest comes over and turns their Wi-Fi on and they're looking for Wi-Fi they already see surveillance van 3 I know that's already been used a bunch uh, but I was one of the first on that gig, okay? So, the second Wi-Fi they will see is Pablo's Kittens. Pablo, we all know a famous Pablo. What's going on over there? Surveillance van? Pablo? That's kind of creepy, okay? So, we decided to name this place Pablo's Kittens, okay? So the uh, Pablo's right down here. I was originally going to build a Terminator, but I have changed the Terminator. The Terminator is not going to be a man anymore. It's going to be a cat. Say hello. Pablo. So I'm going to make a giant Terminator cat in the corner, and that's going to be Pablo. Okay? Um, on a side note, all the uh, beer labels you see on the side over here that I scrolled through earlier, those are all beer labels that my uncle Jim and Aunt Lori sent me from uh, up north okay so that's what he does he sends postcards he takes his craft beers and turns those into postcards so he sends me postcards for once in a while and we've got a special one I'm going to show you it here in a minute we're going to add it to the wall he heard what I was calling this and he sent me a special postcard it's very very uh, goes with Pablo's kittens very well okay so uh, we're getting there. It's coming along nicely. It's a nice place to come out and hang out. Um, now, we're calling it the man cave, but women are allowed with permission. Okay, so, anyhow, let's get on to the beer of the weekend. I don't think I have anything else in here to talk about. So, I made some, uh, made some chicken wings to go with this red wings the standard buffalo sauce and I put some blue cheese crumbles on it I'm gonna have those here in the man cave today and the beer of the weekend we're going with today is still kind of dark in here I've only got one light installed there's going to be another light installed on that end once I get that fully framed in all right what do we have here it's called soul beer black nitro lager alcohol 4.2 percent taking care Taking care of beerness. This is by Grind City Brewing Company. 
They're out of Memphis. I have not had any by this brewery yet. Okay? Soul Beer, spelled B-I-E-R, Soul Beer is a rich and creamy dark lager with a boost of nitrogen to give it a velvety smoothness. Gentle notes of coffee and chocolate reach deep into your senses with every taste resulting in a craft beer that's incredibly hard to resist. So it's been a while since I've done any craft beers, uh, working on projects like this that cost a lot of money. Since the prices have gone up, you gotta drink some uh, cheap, cheapos, okay? So we've been loading up on natural light for these projects, okay? But, uh, we're gonna try a craft beer, and hopefully this is good. It sounds good, okay? And, so a lot of this stuff up here, a lot of the cups were given to me. Uh, my brother-in-law gave me like four of these Guinness cups, and then my Uncle Jim gave me a few cups from all around. So, and a couple others I've gotten here or there. Um, so, we're going to try it in a glass today. That way we can see what this looks like. Y'all can see what it looks like. I'm, it's called Black Nitro Lager, so I'm assuming it's going to be dark. It says shake light and pour heavy. I don't know how to pour heavy. We're just going to pour it. Smell. Hmm. I'm not sure on the smell. I'm not sure I'm getting coffee or chocolate. There you go. Just poured it on my foot. So yes, it is dark. See if we can get this whole can in here. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Nice dark beer. I'm not really picking up on the notes here. The notes trying to sound professional. Not that I am. this out. This sounds like something I'd like. So yes, very dark, very dark. You cannot see through the glass. That is super dark, okay? Um, I am, so smell-wise, I'm not getting any scents off of it, really. Um, but it does taste coffee-ish, coffee groundish, maybe a little slight hint of chocolate, uh, but mostly I'm getting those coffee grounds, okay? Okay. This beer is, I'm going to say it's very filling. You've drank one of these, you'd be, you'd be full. Yeah, that full filling. It's not a light beer. Okay. This may kind of sound weird, but uh, this would almost good, go good with some like in my opinion, 
the side of vanilla ice cream. Okay? It's just what I'm thinking in my head right now. This would be a good after dinner beer. Possibly have with just a scoop of ice cream on the side. So, overall, I like this. It's pretty good. You'll have to try it out for yourself. Um, on a scale, uh, the co we'll just go off coffee beers. I've had some that have tasted just a hair better in my opinion, but uh, I'll give this a pretty good, pretty good review. I will give this an eight out of 10. First beer in the man cave portion of the shipping container. First beer on film in Pablo's Kittens. The official Pablo's Kittens video. This is the first beer. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Uh, I've created a playlist for the shipping container that includes from the very first getting it placed, getting it ready to paint the outside, painting most of the outside, <clears throat> putting the awning on, etc, etc. It's been about three years since we started that. So there's about seven videos I think in that playlist. If you're curious, so I'm sorry, I had to cut the video short. My card got ran up a little bit, but I'm going to finish this beer. I'm going to eat my buffalo chicken with blue cheese on it, possibly watch a movie or some YouTube or play some video games in here and enjoy the rest of my afternoon. Thank you for watching. And I've got another beer to put on the shelf. Eight out of 10, Soul Beer, Black Nitro Lager. Quantum Cuddle Kitten, next to Pablo.